shook it up. Today is show day. I've been up for the past hour and a half. As you can see, I've got my hair all pinned in its curls. I've got the full face of makeup on and I'm about to make my breakfast. It feels a bit strange to be at home on show day because normally I'm staying in a hotel. So it's just a nice bit of a change to be at home and be able to weigh out all my food and be really super accurate with my intake today. So for breakfast, I'm gonna have two poached eggs. I'm gonna have two slices of toast. I'm gonna have some avocado and I'm gonna have some black pudding. And I'm gonna feed these little monsters. Here we have meal one going down, some protein bread, two eggs, avocado, black pudding, and a tangled laney. What more could you ask for on a Saturday morning? Time to eat. So I am a much more tangled version than I was a couple of hours ago because I got another layer of spray tan on and now I'm just gonna have a coffee and go to register. So the venue's about 30 minutes away from our house and here's Lex. I'm clean. I'm not. Smell good though. Smell good. Lex is a weirdo who likes to smell his fake, fake tan. Come Ugh. to me, let me sniff you. Soft, don't smudge me. I want to sniff the dark side. So I have forgotten my camera, my vlogging camera at home. So I'm finding it hard because the camera's over here on my phone. So excuse me if I'm looking the wrong way. But I'm just having my second meal, which is pickle, which is for the salt and I'm gonna have three rice cakes with peanut butter. That's it. I've registered number 42. And I'm back sitting in my car. Because that's what you do. Sit in your car like a weirdo on a really sunny day. It's a nice theatre. Just waiting for Lex to get here. So when I registered, I was given this piece of paper which is, um, are you in the right class? So for my class, apparently, um, bikini class, this class is aimed at women who are keeping fit and eating a balanced diet. Mm. Uh, I've heard of girls who literally have had chicken and water for the past two weeks and for the past two days have not had water. They're gonna look really healthy and balanced. Um, muscular definition is not allowed. Don't flex too hard, lady. Body tone and healthy overall appearance is essential. Well, I think I look pretty healthy. Balance and proportion of upper and lower body is important. I think I'm pretty balanced. Face, hair, makeup will also be taken into consideration. Well, I've got that sorted. Once I take down my hair, I'm not gonna wear my bandana. Then for the posing, we're just doing the front and the rear pose. Oh man. And then we do a tea walk to music. Music provided by the organiser. Now, I've done tone figure before, which the women should display an athletic amount of muscular development. Balance, symmetry, poise will be taken into account. Over muscularity and vascularity will be considered as not, and not is underlined, acceptable for this class. Posing is quarter turns, front, side, rear. I think they call it rear pose rather than back pose and then they have a posing routine. We'll see how I get on, I, I don't know. I'm not really even sure what they're looking for anymore in competitions because I seem to be in that category that's between every category. My legs are quite big and too big for bikini and then I'm not buff enough for toned. So we'll see how I get on guys. It all comes down to the posing. I think my legs look a bit better than they did last time, but like, not much has changed. It's been two weeks. I've just kind of maintained what I had. I'm almost two pounds up as well from what I was last time, so I'm not too concerned about it. You're taller than me. You just keep the tiny. Yeah. I'm tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a tiny person. So I just wanted to come and make sure you're all right, because I'm standing all like you. <laughs> but I've got st shit on my hands going on some duck. No, this is yeah, what she's always looks yeah, like. Yeah, thank you for that. Like, so I really do hope you get it's my nose tan, on that. It's not tan, that's poop. I hope you get no my nose. Don't dog, forget dog how poop. big my nose is. <laughs> I'll get, get that side. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we won't use that. No, we'll <laughs> around here. <laughs> Don't worry, Max, I'd rather read that than you. <laughs> Optimating tomatoes, so I'm like, that's going to be more carbs. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. 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 Yeah, I
Mars. <laughs> Because we've secretly come to another little bit of a show with the dead squirrel. <laughs> What's going on, Bobster? I'm not a dead squirrel. This is the dead squirrel. I'm here. Oh, all right. <laughs> penis. So we're at the is it the Pendle Valley or the Mr. Pennine? I can never remember. Mr. It's the Mr. Pennine, and um, yeah, basically what it is is Lainey felt like she looked great. Her diet was going well. She's continuing to diet through anyway because we're seeing like how lean we can get her to then do a really effective lean gain. It's, it's all me people, all me. Lainey just wears the bikinis. But we're, um, yeah, so basically she's gonna diet down to see how lean she can get herself and then we're gonna lean gain her back out so real slow because that's the only bit really. Me and my, my coach Will Grazion yeah. will be lean gaining. Lean gaining. Because that's the only bit you've ever struggled with, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is the timing after. I was saying about on one of my, I think it was Instagram or something, about how, or maybe it was YouTube, about how I'm hoping that if I shift the fat this time and keep it off for a prolonged period, that maybe my fat will redistribute a bit better on my body, that maybe I'll get more on my upper body and I'll reverse out rather than it all just going straight to my legs. We'll see. So, when you're out on stage, about the time we're on? We're at Sparkle O'Clock. So about an hour out. An hour out. Yeah, I need to start taking this hair down. So we shall see you out on the stagey Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> this is why I'm wild, wild, wild. This my motherfucking style, style, style. Ever since I was a child, child, child. I've been fucking wild, wild, wild. This is why I'm wild, wild, wild. This my motherfucking You brought a little baggy with you, Lainey. Do you, need, do you need a little bit of um, <laughs> encouragement? Oh I'll what be super your, chatty what on is, stage. What is your mysterious white powder wrapped in cellophane? It's a uh, Himalayan pink salt. <laughs> I thought that was the best way to carry it. Just a little sneaky trick before you go on stage. You just slam a nice bit of salt, a bit of carbs, a bit of fats. Damn that smell, saffron sea, while I'm at a far slim and a same basti, a same pump, while I lot of long jay, the command coach shadow where the crew and I lay, they're not the stage, sing a son of the smell, bump their head when it's selling our seats, and I make them bend, get my ass started with a pair of like that. Man, I think I'm a dream, hey, I'm a dreamer, now I wake up in the state that I've been doing too much. All the things on me to flourish, you ain't Noodle. Hi. 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 Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where's Bailey? Hi, you bales. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> On that side. Back home. Sun is shining having myself a coffee even though I'm like not disappointed but it's a little bit frustrating that my cellulite on the back of my legs even though the rest of my body is really really good in my opinion the back of my legs and the cellulite is what holds me back when I compete now that's not saying it's holding me back in my life it doesn't hold me back in any other way only when I step on stage as soon as I turn around and they see that I've got visible cellulite on my legs I'm completely out of the running I didn't even like out of eight girls I I placed either seventh or eighth and that was down to not 
the rest of my body but based on one area and that's what bodybuilding is and what it is to compete to have one part of my body that's letting me down and i suppose in the category in bikini it is an essential part of your body that they rate and maybe it's a little bit unfair i don't know but that's just the way it is and i suppose it's just something that i'm gonna have to work on if i want to compete again but i'm not i know i said after the last time you know i did all my thank yous and all that and that was i suppose my main show was the last one for you guys but i wanted to step on stage again for myself i was i'm continuing to diet anyway for the next couple of weeks i just want to remain lean and um, i'm gonna have a nice meal tonight with lex and sherelle we're gonna go out and have a nice meal just because i never got to celebrate my birthday or anything really because i wasn't well and i decided to compete and do this competition so Tonight we're going to go and have a nice meal, I'm not going to go crazy and eat loads of stuff like I did last time, I'm just going to have a nice meal with my friend and my husband. Next week we're going on holidays and my coach is going to bring me back up to my maintenance macros for the week while I'm away. Just because I've been dieting for so long I didn't take a break the entire time and like it's 22 weeks now. So I think yeah. I a week of kind of higher intake would be good. I'll still track, I'm gonna bring weighing scales, bring all that. And then when we get back then, I've got a few things in the pipeline. We've got a photo shoot with Gymshark. We've got um, the Gymshark pop-up shop, the Lift Brum pop-up shop, which is free of charge, guys. If you're in Birmingham for Body Power, you can come along to the Gymshark pop-up shop. It's free of charge and you can come and meet me and Lex and all the other athletes. And we have specific times that we're on and I've we will be posting them on social media. So if you want to come and meet me and say hello and give me a hug and tell me that I'm your cellulite sister, come down. But we have all that coming up. So it's not the end of the journey. Just because I did a competition doesn't mean that it's over now. It just means that I've done that little bit and I'll continue in that strength. So me and the doggies now are just sitting out, enjoying the sun, enjoying my coffee, going for a meal later. Thank you again for all your support, even though I did keep it on the down low and I just wanted to, it wasn't that I was hiding it from you or anything, but to be honest, I didn't know if I was actually going to do the competition and I didn't know whether I was going to just back out last minute and I didn't want to do that or have that hanging over me. So I just thought I'd keep dieting, see how I got on, if I was in good enough condition, which I felt I was, step on stage and... We'll do it all again soon, I'm sure. I'll just set new goals, new aims for the future, whether it's competing or something else. I hope you enjoyed my Mrs. Bikini prep series and hopefully we'll have another one coming up soon. But make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed them all. If you haven't watched some of them, go back through the playlist and watch all the videos and you can see my journey in the last 22 weeks because this is it. I'm done now. Forever. I'm giving up fitness. No. Jokes. Jokes. I'm sure my lipstick looks amazing right now. I cannot wait to shower. I'm so sweaty. So tanned. I'm trying to get a, a proper regular. I'm hoping this will wash off in some kind of a nice glow for Lex and I's vacation next week. Oh, I'm looking forward to that so much. Okay. Over and out. Love you guys. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turned to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.